Hey guys, it's Karina with Karina Loves to Plan. Welcome back to my channel. I got this massive box today as part of Ink Swap 2022 hosted by Simone. And this box traveled all the way from Florida from Olga. Thank you so much, Olga. So if you're not familiar with Ink Swap, basically Simone organized um, everybody who signed up and what she did was basically assign ink swap angels. I sent samples to somebody and then somebody sent me samples. So it's not always the same person that we're paired with, but this is a huge box. <laughs> Look at how big this is. All right, let's get to opening it. So here's the stuff that I've unpacked so far. And from what I'm noticing, there's four full size, full size ink bottles here. <laughs> oh my goodness. Let's open these. Like, holy cow. And you know what? From what was packed, there wasn't any leakage. So it was very, very well packed. Thank you, Olga. And then she sent along this, uh, I am your pen pal ink swap partner. I take it if you love orange, green, I've included some full bottles because samples just don't cut it. Ah, uh, if you love orange, if you love green, purple is the best compliment. Oh, if, uh, so I hope you don't mind if I, added a purple as well. Oh, I'm so excited to try these out. And she included this notebook. Oh, so it's a Nebula casual notebook, 90 GSM ink proof white paper. And there are 120 pages here. Ah, thank you so much, Olga. I am going to get to swatching these. So I will be swatching in my Hobonichi A6 notebook that has Tomo River paper, uh, 52 GSM. I will also be doing swatches on Rhodia paper. And this is where I actually keep all the swatches. So I've got a book that basically, I say book, but kind of like a Rolodex. <laughs> Gosh, I feel like I've aged myself saying Rolodex, but Rolodex and swatches of all of the inks I've ever um, sampled or owned, and they're all on Rhodia paper. And I will also be using my glass dip pen, which I got off of Amazon, as well as some paint brushes from Stationery Pal. Let's get started. First one I'm going to sample is, oh my gosh, there's been a little spillage on this, but not too much that would bother me. It is Pelican Edelstein Golden Barrel. This is my first Pelican ink and wow, hold on. I got to mix it up here because yes, there is shimmer in this ink. Hold on. Okay, so now that I've shaken it a bit, I'm going to look at that. Oh my goodness. This is a ton of shimmer. Wow. Oh my gosh, that is bright and absolutely gorgeous. Wow. And then putting some on my Rhodia paper. It's also nice to see the difference in the two papers, like the Rhodia versus the Tomo River paper. Oh gosh, it kind of matches my sweater. And this is Pelican. Edelstein Golden Barrel. Wow. That is bright, punchy, and gorgeous. Definitely, I think it'll be a good fall color, but I just feel like anyone who loves orange or yellow will use this at any time of year. Wow. So then labeling this one. Oh, wow. Look at how that is drying. Look at all of those gold shimmer sparkles. Love that. I might have to think about what pen I want to put this in. Oh, do you guys own any Pelican Edelstein inks? Let me know if you do and what your thoughts are on them. The next ink is gonna be a brand I've never tried before, along with the Pelican, is Visconti Cafe Terrace at night. And if you look at that, that is really interesting. I've never tried any Visconti inks, so I'm assuming it's gonna turn out that color. And, ooh, feels very, like we're, we're going along the similar colors here of, yes, the orange. 
and I don't own a lot of oranges, but I think it's such a bright, punchy color, and I think it's something that I really need to get into in terms of almost going outside of my comfort zone of what inks I need to try. So this is Visconti. Oh, look at how bright it is on the glass dip pen. Cafe Terrace at night. Wow. And that is very bright, even on the glass dip pen. Look at the shading that's happening there. Really interesting ink, even for an orange. And I mean, even on the Rhodia paper, look at how that that is shading. Really pretty. Wow. So that is Visconti Cafe Terrace at Night. The next one is from Diamine and it is Iridescent Robert. It looks like it's a cult pens exclusive. It's Robert, which funny enough, my husband's name is Robert. <laughs> so I really actually am liking purple made in England. Okay, funny story. My husband's name is Robert and he was born in England, born and bred London boy. And we actually, I lived in London for um, six years and both of my kids are born there. So I find this ink actually quite funny. Um, very fitting for just who I am. Hold on. <laughs> Okay, so I think it'll be so funny having an ink that is the same name as my husband. So let's, oh, if it's iridescent, I need to shake it. Hold on. I'm wondering if there is shimmer in there, but always good idea to just shake your ink just to make sure. So, oh wow. Look at that. Ooh, love that color. And then how does it look on the Rhodia paper? Oh, you know what it kind of reminds me of? It's almost like, almost like Syrah, Diamine Syrah, which I really like. Oh, look at the way that it's transforming on that paper. So this is Diamine iridescent Robert. Oh, that's funny. I don't know if Olga knew my husband's name but, and that he's from England, but that is a funny, funny coincidence. I love how that is looking on both of these papers. Like how it looks more pink on the Rhodia paper, but then on the Tamo River paper, it looks more like kind of like um, Diamine Writer's Blood or Syrah. So this is Diamine Iridescent Robert. Oh, I'm so excited to show this to him when he gets home later. Oh, that is pretty. I really love that. Look at how deep that color is. Gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Oh. And then lastly, I have amazing, oh gosh, can't speak, amazing amethyst. I'm so excited about it that I can't even speak. So let's open that up. Oh, look at the way it is already in the lid. It's always so interesting to me how something can look in a bottle versus the lid. I'm just cleaning off my paint brushes here. And my water is like, hold on, my water has like gold shimmer and the iridescent Robert. So I'm just trying to clean that off before putting Amazing Amethyst on there. I actually had to fully go ahead and replace that water because it was not coming off my brush. So, oh, I love that. I love that. Oh my goodness. I love that purple. Love, love, love that purple. I'm gonna try to do a second one to see if I can get a little bit more shading. Wow. 
that is turning out beautifully. So this is, and I know one of my friends who wants a sample of this. This is Diamine. I like how dark it is on the glass dip pen as well. Amazing amethyst. Wow. These are all fantastic ink swap choices, Olga. Oh my goodness. I, oh, look at like how that one, I know I'm supposed to be watching this one, but look at the edges of this one. Look at that sheen. Amazing. Oh my goodness. All fantastic choices. So, diamine. One of the things I was afraid of in this is that I was going to get a sample of something I already had. But the crazy thing is, there are so many inks out there that it'll be like, it'll be very, very hard to, I think, get a duplicate if you're doing an ink swap like this. I am in love with all of these that Olga sent. I love how shimmery Golden Barrel is. And that is a really beautiful orange from Visconti. I, what is my favorite? I love them all. I love them all. And I cannot believe that Olga sent me full size bottles and a notebook. Oh my gosh, Olga, I am sending you a letter as soon as I can because you have been so, so kind. This is one of the things that I love about the ink swap is that it's connected people in the fountain pen community. I hope to actually, you know, make Olga a little bit of a fountain pen pen pal um, and, you know, exchange letters that way. I just think it's a great way to get to know others in the community. All right, but that is it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. I am still blown away by the kindness of my ink swap angel. Thank you again so much. All right. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching and have yourselves a great day.